Again, this morning, we're going to ask the expert. That's Dr. Don Miller, Director of Product Development with Alpharex Seeds. And, uh, Don, last week we talked about alfalfa planting rates, but let's talk about uh, some of the other things involved in that process. Planting depths, the germination process, take us through that. So we're doing that right as well. Yeah, once you've uh, purchased that seed and you're getting ready to go out there and plant, I think one of the main things that you need to be aware of is don't plant the seed too deep. And that's one of the major uh, drawbacks I see on on planting uh, people. If there's ever a stand failure, you can generally uh, point back to the seed was planted too deep. And so you need to be uh, on alfalfa about a quarter to a half inch uh, deep. Uh, On sandy soil, that's a little bit more forgiving, but again, don't get it too deep. You need to plant in a firm seed bed, get good to seed soil contact, and and after you start planting, uh, get off your tractor and, and go out there and check that uh, seed depth and make sure you're getting it where you need to be. As we look at the different types of uh, seed that we've purchased, coated seed, uh, treated seed, planting depth is pretty much uniform no matter what we're doing? Yeah, whether it's uh, raw pre-inoculated or coated seed, again, that uh, quarter to half inch uh, depth is, is really optimal. We just need to make sure we have good to seed to soil contact. And also, I think uh, when we get out there in the spring, get ready to plant, uh, don't rush it. Uh, don't, alfalfa doesn't uh, come out of the ground very fast in a cold soil. Uh, optimal temperatures is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the interesting thing, at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the seed germs in two days. But if you're planting in 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, soils, it takes six days for that seed to germinate. And, and when that seed is germinating at a slow rate, you have more chance of damping off. And so... Uh, give your uh, seeds a chance out there uh, and, and make sure that you uh, um, be aware of the soil temperatures. You know, below 35 degrees, it's not going to germinate at all. So, But a fast-growing uh, seedling uh, avoids some of those uh, damping off problems. And as we get out there and get off the tractor, do we want to have maybe a few seeds on top of the surface to know that we're not going too deep? Is that a way to tell us that we're maybe doing it right, have a few seeds still on top? Yeah, well, I think uh, if you're doing that quarter to half inch, uh, you'll sometimes see a few seeds right on top of the ground. Uh, that really gives you an indication that you're not getting too deep. And But again, I, I be sure and, and check out there and, and make sure that uh, that when you start planting that you're getting to the right depth. And, and, and I think there's also some questions on hard seed. You know, some people won't worry about uh, hard seed, uh, but it will germinate. It just uh, takes in the water a little bit slower. And, and when that seed starts to come out of the ground, you have uh, the two cotyledons, and it starts to put up that single uh, unifoliate uh, leaf. That's when you're most susceptible to frost damage. Well, we need to try to get to that uh, triple leaf stage, and that's a little bit more tolerant to the frost damage. So, so don't be in a hurry. Get her done right. Plant uh, that's, planting rate and planting depth so important. That's absolutely right. Very good. Thanks, Don. Our expert, Dr. Don Miller, with us again this morning, Director of Product Development with Alpharex.